what do I do when I'm broken? When I'm broken, I relish it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it. Because if I'm broken, then I just found my limitations. And until I know what my limitations are, how can I push them? How can I get better? But once I see it, once I feel it, once I see where I was broken, then I can attack that weakness. I can fill in that gap. I can reinforce that breach. If you break, it means it's time to fortify your will to make it stronger. There's all kinds of different ways to break. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and none of those are fun. And all of those are gonna leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. Because every time you break, and in every way that you break, while it's a chance, it's definitely a chance for you to give up and for you to just to fall apart. But there's also opportunity. There's opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. When you break, you have the opportunity to show the world, the whole world, what you are really made of. So, so if you break, if, if you break, the fight isn't over. In fact, if you break, the fight is just beginning. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place covered and you're covered in blood and sweat and dirt and filth as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken I'm not saying to put yourself down I'm saying listen to the truth and the truth isn't in the 20% the truth is in this other part of your brain saying look man you're wasting a bunch of percentage here we have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering pain failure Failure, failure, self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you gotta go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I gotta go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, the, in between is not fun. So we decided to live over here. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about in that book that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you wanna go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you gotta break yourself off. The amount of mental pain of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go is gonna be, it, it, there's going to be more times you do something that, that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do. And that's, that, that's your new norm. So then it's like breathing. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. So if you really want it, you realize what trying is 
and what trying is not.